All right, difficult job here now. I've got to find a, I guess it's a small propane leak. Now, when we picked this up, I don't know, it's been almost two months ago. This is our first trip. Um, the last campground where we're at, I had turned on our propane here and it was reading full. That red needle was at full because they, you know, filled it up for us when we first purchased the vehicle. And uh, now it's at half. Now, you know what we did with that propane? We had, me and my wife had a shower at the last place. Perfect shower, it was beautiful. It was a uh, hot and uh, beautiful shower. Uh, one other thing I did do at the last place, I tried to use the, uh, the Blackstone, you know, it runs on propane. I tried to use that with this right here, built in to the outlaw. It's got this little compartment and a nice quick connect for your propane. It didn't work. So I went inside and I fired up, fired up all the burners. There's two burners on the stove and an induction half. So the two burners clicked them. They both fired up and both uh, were igniting and running and had a flame. Perfect. So, but we came to this campground now and it's still reading, still reading a half tank full. I've turned it off as of last night. So I know two showers didn't take a half tank of uh, propane. And that would explain why, uh, a leak would explain why I can't get propane there. And then after the showers uh, yesterday didn't work, I fired up the propane stove again it would ignite and light and then go right out like there is a leak like there's a slow leak or something you know the, the burners would fire up real weak low i tried to turn to high and it, they would just go out so now those aren't working so it's got to be some sort of leak there so i've got a uh found a bottle the least full bottle of this stuff here just filled it with water and some dish soap so I, I gotta find this leak today, because if, if not, I mean, we're getting in, we're gonna go up to Canada, we're gonna need heat. Heat runs off the propane on the Thor Outlaw. Hot water runs off the propane. And uh, of course, we'd wanna have the propane for a Blackstone with that rear accessory hookup. And we're not gonna have it if I don't get this, oh, and then our gas uh, burners on the stove. So I've gotta find this leak. Wish me luck. If I don't, our next longest stop is in Maryland. So I've already kind of reached out last night to find, to see if there's any mobile technicians. It's hard to find a mobile technician when you're actually on the road and you're, and you're on the move. But uh, fingers crossed, I find this leak today. Turn this on slowly. Just looking for any bubbles. is I don't I hope the leak is not up inside anywhere that's hidden I don't see any leaks right here but I do see the propane has already gone down a bit and I remember I smelt propane on the back here the other day when I had it on trying to use this let me see if there's a leak in this quick connect
Guys, look at this. I got my tools out and everything, and I was cleaning this off up here. The fitting and the and the hose. I got up here, wiggled this around, and then wanted to see how tight this was. And this is finger finger tight in here. So, and it's just like a uh, compression seating connection. So. I think if I just tighten this up, we're good. No, no washer or gasket needed. It looks like it was just a loose fitting. So, go ahead, put this back on. And when, I don't like how this is routed way down here. I get, I'll strap it up, like with a strap up here, nylon strap. Once I get it attached, and then see once I get this tightened up, you know this. The housing is a little loose. That's not going to cause a leak. So I'm just going to uh, tighten this up. Now, now the hose is not wiggling. The fitting's not wiggling. Now let me get a tie strap and tie this extra, tie the extra up to this frame piece right here. So this doesn't hit on anything. Okay, now before I tie this up, I'm gonna ch I check it, turn the propane on. Turn the propane on all the way and look at that. Do not see any more leaks. Huh. I can't believe it was that easy. All right, look what I just noticed. I was about ready to pack this grill up, but because uh, I couldn't get it lit. And then I came back here, and I don't need to remind you guys that this, this RV is new to us. So that's why you're following us on the, these initial trips to see what we encounter, what you might encounter on your new RV rig. And I came back here and all the tags were hanging off here and I couldn't hardly see back there. Uh, but I was gonna get a picture of this connector to see if I could stop and purchase another connector on our way. Maybe it was a bad connector. So I went and took a closer look, tore the tags off and look at what I found here. There is a lever right here, on off lever. So if I pull this lever out to straight, see that lever? pull that out, locks it in, and supplies fuel. That's what it's supposed to do. So I've got my mine on here, this side here, and it's got a lever as well, right? And it locks in this so you can't disconnect it while you're using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can fire this grill up again. Oh, it is on. It did fire up. It's on there. I don't know if you can see the flames. But we got it. Now everything's working in the rig again. And we solved the issue. I'll turn that off. Try it again. There it goes. Nice. So everything's working again. We can try the stove. Nice. We got it. We got it. We've got propane again. Now we check the hot water. I'll go ahead. Turn on hot water. 
at 95, you should see the flame pop up. Propane's turning on, lighting up. 106, 111 degrees, 115. Yes, success. So I'm feeling really confident now that uh, you know I can find uh, issues and then resolve them on our RV. Now I've already had four years of experience with this with our Tiffin, our 2014 Tiffin, which gave me uh, lots of challenges. So uh, going into this 2021 model, I don't expect to see anything serious. And this one was a simple one where the mud flap was probably hitting that lengthy propane line going to the quick connect, behind the quick connect. And I, I feel over time that uh, that mud flap waving back and forth was pushing that hose back and forth and just loosening it. Because no one would have just left it loose like that. Uh, it, it had to happen, you know, kind of on its own uh, from nature, you know, just from the wind and driving down the road. So guys, thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. I hope you join us on our next one where we're going from North Carolina to Maryland. I'll see you on that video.